I'll be showing 10 new features in Word. This includes a few desktop updates and web updates. And right in the middle of this video, I'll show a first look of the new agent mode in Word. It's super cool, it's vibe working, and it really uses AI to interact with Word in a cool way. So let's get started. The first new feature is a big one, and that is Copilot Chat has come to Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Outlook, and OneNote, and I'll be showing it here in Word Desktop. So on the Home tab, you're gonna see this Copilot button right here. And I'm gonna click this and it'll open up Copilot Chat. This is the full Copilot Chat that you see in the M365 Copilot and everywhere else. So I can size this. If I go to the little hamburger menu, it actually has all the conversations that I've had. I can create agents, all those good things. In the upper right, I've got a full deep dive in the Copilot Chat and tips and tricks. But what's really nice is now I have this right here in Word. And you're gonna see you're using Copilot with standard access. This is not the full premium Copilot that requires the license. So this is the lighter weight one that everyone has access to but brought into Word. So the difference is I can't update things here on the document, but I can still have a conversation and do a lot of cool things. If I hit the three dot menu, I can turn on GPT-5. And I can also hit things like settings to access memory and other features that I show in a different video. But let's keep this simple. Now it can see this document, so I'm gonna ask for a summary. Can you summarize this TPS report status doc and hit go? So a little summary here about what the document is all about. Great, so I can summarize anything. I can also do things like talk to my document. So if I hit the little start dictation, please create a cartoon image of Bill Lumberg. Okay, I'm gonna hit go. So Copilot can make images right here in the chat. Hey, so here's Bill Lumberg. It says, would you like to add a humorous caption, make a meme, etc." We'll just keep it simple. Now I can say insert it right onto the Word doc, or I can say copy image. So I'm gonna go right over here and hit enter because it talks about the Lumberg initiative and I'll just go hit plus. And hey, there's Bill Lumberg. Now I'm gonna size it down a little bit. So I've got a nice Bill Lumberg image. If I go back into Copilot chat, I can start a new chat. And there we go. I can also upload files. So if I have some files that I wanna add, maybe employee sentiment analysis or other things, you get a limit to the number of files you can upload with this free version of Copilot chat, but you could do that as well. And then there's also lots of prompting ideas built right into Copilot chat. I could see more, so all sorts of options. There's even a prompt gallery. You can explore more prompts there. And the last thing I'll show in this short demo is that you've got enterprise data protection. So that means everything in this Copilot chat is safe and secure. We don't train on your data. The second new feature is improvements to the draw tab. I'll go to the draw tab here and I've got a small set, but now I can add way more tools. There's a new fountain pen tool. There's a new brush pen tool. And then there's a new pencil tool. So I've added all these to my toolbar and the drawing tools toolbar can expand out much farther than it has in the past. So let's say I wanna go here to my brush tool and I wanna make it a little bit bigger and then I wanna start drawing. Ooh, very nice. So you have some new options for drawing. You also have this fountain pen tool and then there's a pencil. So maybe I wanna make my pencil nice and thick and I'm just gonna draw my name, Mike. So play around with the new draw toolbar and keep adding more and more things to it. You can make it quite big now compared to the past. Here I go, I'm just adding all sorts of stuff. The third new feature is improved ink to shape and this is also on the draw tab. I'm gonna go here and choose ink to shape. Now when I draw a sloppy square like this, it'll automatically be corrected by ink to shape. Make a circle, same thing. Triangle, same thing. I can even make a diamond and it will get cleaned up really easily. So all sorts of shapes are supported now by the ink to shape. The fourth new feature is a small but important one. That is Word has a brand new icon. I have it right here on the screen. You can see how beautiful it is, it's fluent. Also, if you have the other apps, I'm gonna open up my taskbar. Down at the bottom, you can see the nice Word icon here along with the other updated icons. And then if I go into the file menu, there's also those same updated Word icons right here. And then even in the top left, you have a little updated icon. These are rolled out to insiders. So if you don't see it yet, it's coming very soon. The fifth new feature is a first look at the just announced agent mode. Agent mode allows you to go back and forth real time with Copilot and making edits to your document and iterating really fast to make a really nice document and save you a ton of time. So I've got an early draft of my TPS report document here. It's got a cover sheet. It's got some stuff down here. 
and I need to update this to make it much more professional. So on the Home tab, I'm going to open up Copilot. And what I'm going to first do is go to the Tools menu here, drop it down, and choose Agent Mode. Now Frontier means it's only for our earliest adopter customers, so if you don't see this yet, don't worry, it's coming out soon. Then I'll hit Agent Mode, and now the little word icon appears, and it says Describe what you'd like to edit. So first off, we need to clean this cover sheet up. Please update this TPS report cover sheet to be professional. Peter Gibbons created it, and it's for Bill Lumberg, et cetera. So I'll hit go, and now agent mode and copilot are gonna kick in. Hey, that looks pretty good. Okay, now let's go to the next step. Now I've got things like quarterly metrics, and I wanna pull this data in from an Excel file. So let's go to Excel. Here's my Initech quarterly data. I've got sales, I've got cover sheet compliance and some other information sales transactions. I'm gonna go back to Word and we're gonna reference this file. Please pull in quarterly data to compare from Excel, make a table. Now I'm gonna go hit add content and we're gonna say add work content. Okay, here's my Initech metrics, we'll select this. Okay, I'm gonna hit go and let's see what agent mode does. Hey, very nice, it pulled all these things in. Now at the bottom I can keep all or I can edit or I can undo. So this looks pretty good, I'll say keep all. And over here it explains what it added. Okay, now maybe I wanna change the formatting and I don't wanna spend a lot of time in Word tweaking that stuff. Agent mode is great for that. So I can say things like, make the font size 10, Aptos, and have the table rows alternate between light blue and white. I'll let go. Okay, that looks really good. I'll choose to keep all. Now, now we're gonna scroll down. Let's look at employee sentiment. I wanna pull in the employee sentiment and highlight the top piece of feedback in yellow. Please pull in the employee sentiment data and highlight the most important piece of feedback in yellow. And again, I'm gonna choose the file here, add work content, and here's the employee sentiment survey. And we'll hit go. Let's see what it did. Employee sentiment survey, top employee suggestions, fewer trivial memos is the most mentioned. We'll keep all. And then it has some other information. Next up, I'm gonna have it look at a big PowerPoint deck that has a bunch of slides with new features and when these things are available. So here is a really big deck with a ton of different features and slides, and I don't wanna make a table based on this stuff in Word. It's gonna take me forever. So let's go back into agent mode. I hit new chat, just start a new one to clean this up. We're gonna say, please look at this PowerPoint deck and pull all the features into a table and put when each is available. And I will hit plus, and we're gonna add work content. And here's the deck, and then we'll just hit go. Okay, oh wow, here's a really nice long table of all the different features and when each of them is available. I'm gonna choose to keep all. Now, I actually wanna sort my table and also show the little line so I can see what's happening a little more, so I'm gonna ask agent mode to do that. Hey, can you sort the table by availability and put available now at the top, the 2026 features at the bottom, and then add grid lines to the table for easier reading. It's just like I'm having a conversation with my document and agent mode can just go take care of those things and save me time. Okay, now my table's updated. We're gonna go one more thing here before we do the final cleanup. I need an executive summary. So I'm just gonna ask agent mode to write a nice professional executive summary, and I'm gonna ask it to bold every other word and make it all comic sans. So here's my instructions to agent mode, let's go. Hey, there we go. I think I'm definitely gonna keep this one. Comic sans, every other word is bold and size 13. Okay, now that we're basically done, we're gonna ask Copilot to analyze the entire document and give a whole bunch of feedback because I've been doing things one piece at a time and it's a bit random in here. So let's see if Copilot can make some suggestions to clean up and improve the entire document. Do you have suggestions on how to improve this document? List them out and I'll decide which ones to do. Let's go. Hmm, executive summary formatting, table design, section organization, content clarity, visual appeal. Looks like there's a lot of different things, even accessibility. And let me know which suggestions you'd like to implement and I can make those changes. You know what? Please make all of them. Agent mode's gonna go and do a massive formatting and reorganization job. Okay, so lots of improvements. Table of contents, executive summary updated, introductory text, key takeaways. So if I scroll down, I can see all these nice updates that have been made to my document. I just showed agent mode updating an existing document, but maybe even more powerful, I'm just gonna quickly create a whole document from scratch. So I've got my chat open here. I've got word agent mode enabled. I'm just gonna paste in things here, create a full TPS report status update with a cover sheet, use the attached files for this. And I say add a table of contents, executive summary, add a recommendation section. And then I'm just gonna attach some of the files that I need. 
I'll hit plus here and I'll hit add work content. And I didn't show this before, but you can add, you can reference people, files, meetings, emails, chats, all sorts of things. But what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna open up OneDrive and attach a couple of cloud files that I've already referenced in my prompt. So I want the Inatech Roadmap, the Inatech Financials, and the Inatech Employee Sentiment Survey. And we'll just hit select to attach those. Okay, those three files are attached. I'm just gonna hit go here, and the document's gonna get built out and drafted. Here goes agent mode. Okay, my TPS report status update is complete. It says it did all these things, so let's scroll down and see what it did. So the table of contents, executive summary, financial analysis, trends and insights, revenue, profit margins, employee survey, key findings, Inatech roadmap summary, recommendations, and next steps. So it looks like it did everything. We'll hit keep all. Now, obviously you wanna double check this, and this is probably not perfect, but by adding a couple of spreadsheets and a PowerPoint deck, it did quite a bit of work just using agent mode. So I can keep having those conversations back and forth. I could say expand the executive summary, include more details from the survey, etc. but you get the sense. Agent mode is rolled out to all of our frontier early adopter customers now, but this will be coming soon to subscribers to M365 Copilot subscriptions in the near future. Next up, we're moving to Word to Web updates. And the sixth new feature is that there's a brand new landing page for any Word for the Web customers. So if I go to word.cloud.microsoft right here, this is that new landing page. I can create blank documents. I have different places I can get started, letters, invoices, recommended. If I've created documents, they'll show up here. I could show all documents. So I'm just gonna say create a blank document. And very quickly, I get started with my new Word for the Web document. If I want to go back to that home page, I hover over this pretty Word icon. It turns to a home button. I click it. And now I'm back to where I started. I can reopen the document that I just opened. And now this is starting to populate because I've actually got documents. So I can look at favorites or shared or all my documents. The seventh new feature is improved table editing in Word for the Web. So let's say I've got a table here and I want to insert a column right here. So if I hover, this nice little insert column plus shows up, and there we go. I can add a new column really easily. If I want to select a column, I just hover like this, and that hand pops up, and I click, and I can select the entire column, and it's really easy to move this around. So if I want to drag this over to here, I drag drop it just like that. Same thing with rows. If I hover, I say insert row, and likewise, I can just hover and click, and now I can drag this row up and down. So really nice usability improvements for tables in Word for the Web. The eighth new feature is click to rename a file in Word for the Web. I've got a document here and I want to rename it. I just click. I just renamed that to product tracking and it's very quickly and easily updated right there. The ninth new feature is support for merged formatting in Word for the Web, which is super handy. I'm going to go to a Word support article document on the web here and I've got a bunch of different formatting here. I will do control C to copy. And now I'm going to go back to my product tracking document. Back here in Word, I'm just going to go and do control V to paste. Now it has it with the type of spacing that I don't quite like. It came from that support document. But the option right here, the little on object UI, if I drop this down, there's now a merge formatting option. And if I choose this, ah, now the spacing is proper to my document. It doesn't keep that spacing that came from this web page it automatically puts the spacing and merges the formatting. The 10th new feature is link preview in Word for the Web. So let's say I've got a link right here, and before I actually go there, I click the link and I've got this little hover on preview. Oh, this is a YouTube video, it's to the new features in Copilot. So you've got a nice little preview. This works with any links. This could be Word documents, it could be Excel files, it could be anything that can render as a link preview. Just to show what that looks like in Excel, for example, Here's an Excel sharing link that I got. If I click on this link, it renders that sheet right there in my little link preview. And if I wanna open that up, it even renders that in my pane right here. Pretty handy. If you wanna keep up with all the latest Microsoft updates and tips and tricks, subscribe to my channel and then just ring the bell so you get all the latest videos that I post.